Karen and Bees. Okay, so <clears throat> today <laughs> we are going to attempt to do another Anchor the Octopus, the Big Kraken, with the Bernat Mystical. Yeah. So I got a message from one of my Yarnabies saying that she tried it and <clears throat> she was worried about the same things I was worried about. So she said it worked out fine. And I'm going, okay, let's try it. Let's go big guns. Let's make an anchor. Um, uh, Kraken. This should be interesting. Uh, what I would like to do, I don't know if it's going to be possible because I haven't even thought about it really. And I should because that's the first thing that I have to do. Is... <clears throat> I want to do, I've been seeing um, some other of the anchor, oct anchor the octopus, <coughs> excuse me, where all the tentacles are different colors, like the underneath, the bobble stitches, um, like they do rainbow colors and stuff. And I'm going, hmm, I might have enough um, yarn to do that. So I might try that, but... Now I'm looking at it. Hold on. <clears throat> the, oh, this is the Sweet Snuggles light. Hang on. Oh, and it's falling. This is the Chenille Home Slim. This, this is the one that I usually use, that and the Sweet Snuggles. Now the Sweet Snuggles is a slight bit thinner the pink one's the Sweet Snuggles. It's a slight bit thinner than the Chenille Home Slim. But when you look at <clears throat> the Blanket Mystical, it's a lot thinner. Right? Um, if you put it up against the... Uh, the Oh, sorry, that's again... Yeah. If you put it up against the Sweet Snuggles... It's pretty close. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Because I don't have a lot of the sweet snuggles. I've got more of the Chenille Home Slim. <clears throat> but, having said that, if I'm just doing the underneath of the tentacles in the Chenille Home Slim, and the rest of the octopus in the mystical. That might be okay. We'll see. Maybe I'll just use a bigger hook. So <clears throat> the pattern calls for a seven millimeter and I can't find my seven millimeter. So I could either go to a 6.5 or an eight. <sighs> so maybe I'll do I don't know. I'll figure it out. Let's go. Okay. So I went through my yarn and tried to find something that I could use that would be kind of colorful and whatever. Couldn't find anything that really stuck out until I looked at this. Remember I had, I got some of this, the Serenity Chunky Candy Cane or candy. <coughs> This stuff is so plushy. It's squishy. I forgot how much I loved this. Um, so it's not chenille, but it feels like chenille. Um, so my thought is using two strands of this. I might be crazy, uh, but we're gonna see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, was this a little ambitious? Probably. <laughs> <clears throat> um, this stuff glides like butter, though. I mean, it's it's really really nice stuff. Um, but it's going to use up a lot, <clears throat> a lot of this on these bobble stitches. 
<sighs> oh, come on. So, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. This is like, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the beginning of the first one. And I've got one, two, three, four, four, five, six skeins of the candy. And if I'm using two skeins together, I don't know how many of how many of these I'm gonna get. Because I need to make eight of these, obviously. So I guess we're gonna find out. Hopefully I won't be playing Yarn Chicken because I'm not going to go and order some from Premiere just to finish this octopus. I might have to think about an, a secondary color to put in between. Like have one tentacle of this, one tentacle of another color. You know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hey guys, so I'm a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. Um, <clears throat> I was really busy today. I was really productive um, and not in the way that you might think. <laughs> Good grief. Um, so George came home from work and he had a job canceled. I'm, I'm telling you, my hair's a mess. I'm look at this bruise. Oh my god. Um, <clears throat> and I was in the middle of making my um, octopus, my cracked. And he came home and he says, "Well, my job got canceled, and you know, so maybe I'll go dash or whatever." I was like. You're going to be dashing for a couple of days and hmm, you have some time maybe? He's like, what do you want? I says, I really need help cleaning out the office. Because what I decided was that our office was going to be my new yarn room. Yay! Um, <laughs> so it was a hot mess in there. It was, oh my God, it was a mess. We had to move out the um, office stuff, <clears throat> like the cabinet that was in there that had all the stuff from the house, files and stuff like that. And all of his um, Dragon Boat gear. And like, there was just, it was a catch-all for stuff. And I was like, I can't do this by myself and I want to get it done before I have my surgery so that I can have that room and my other room to do stuff like after my surgery when I'm healing um, if I have the energy I want to be able to start making eyes like safety eyes and stuff um, and I need that room to be able to have all of my yarn in and have my other room so that I can make all of my, like, my t-shirts and my safety eyes and my, like, all my stuff, right? I want to have the, <clears throat> the office isn't just going to be my yarn room. It's going to be my office as well, where I'm going to have my label printer. Because I bought a new label printer. And so I, I'm going to have my label printer in there. And I'm going to be able to ship out my stuff. And do all my packaging and everything in there. It was, it was something else, let me tell you. Um, I've got more yarn than I thought I did. Honestly, I thought I had, took it all to the shop and sold most of it. But I guess I've been getting more stuff. <laughs> um, I've got quite a bit of plushy yarn uh, stashed. And then I've got like a whole bunch of balls of yarn that aren't quite full yarn, balls of yarn. 
Um, and I have some acrylic yarns and I've just got stuff. Oh my God. Like I've got a whole bunch of projects that aren't done. Um, yeah, it's just, it was crazy. So I'm hurting big time. My back hurts big time. Uh, I went and had a bath and took some painkillers. I've been snippy all day. George has gotten the brunt of it. Usually at the end of October, middle to end of October, getting towards Halloween, <clears throat> um, I get really agitated. And, um, oh, excuse me. I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that are witchy or those of you that are spiritual, um, you know that the veils between the worlds is parting. And so when the veils part between our world and spirit world, I get really agitated being an empath and everything. I get, yeah, I get really agitated and really like everything just sets me off. And usually George is the one that gets it because he's the only one here. Um, so he jokes and says, okay, I'll just move out at the end of October and I'll come back in November. <laughs> so <clears throat> this month he said, so which one of us is going to your sister's? <laughs> it's like, uh, and I've been doing pretty good until today. Today was the day and I just was like, rah, 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 rah. And he's just like, okay, I'm going to go have a drink of whiskey. <laughs> And then he got in trouble for that. So, yeah, it's it was a day. You know, and then with my pain, I'm always bitchy when I'm in pain. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, we got that. I haven't got it done, but I got a great dent in it. I'll probably get it finished tomorrow. Um, but I got all of my my legs done. Or not done, but I got this part of my octopus legs finished, all eight of them. Aren't they pretty? Um, <clears throat> and I was shocked that this only took two and a half of these. I thought it was going to take me more. Oh. Oh, it's only quarter to nine and I'm just bagged. <clears throat> um, I'm going to start using the mystical now uh, to do the other part of the octopus. <sighs> and I found a, a seven, <laughs> in all that mess of yarn, I found a seven millimeter hook. So I'm going to be doing that. And I went out to take Bailey to go to the bathroom out the front, and there was a big box there. I had no idea I even had a, um, a package out there, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. Will I find out? Okay. So this is the box. <laughs> To be honest, I don't know what's in it. I'm going to say yarn, but I don't know. Oops. And you're falling. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know because, um, yeah, I don't know. So let's open the box. <laughs> I totally forgot I got a premiere order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It takes them so long to get their stuff here that I oh no, it's a Hirschner's order. Sorry. Oh my God. What the heck happened here? Ugh. Okay. Well, we'll just forget about that. It's a Hirschner's order. Um, they were having a sale on Serenity Chunky. And I needed 
some black and it's called Raven. So you know I had to get it. And then I also got Pristine because um, I can't remember why I got it. I think it was for sweaters that I'm going to be making. Yeah. So they came in three packs and I got I got quite a bit. Got two, three, four, five black, and this is the pristine. It's not white. It's cream, a cream color. So there's two, three. There's five of these as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got them for sweater. No. What the heck? I was going to mix it with something, wasn't I? Serenity Chucky. Remember I was saying that it was... Oh, I know. The anniversary cake. That's what it was. I was going to mix the pristine with the anniversary cake to make a sweater. That's right. Ha <laughs> I remembered. Wow. I actually remembered something. That's right. Okay. Cool. So I can get on that next. <laughs> I got a sweater here that I'm working on. That's going to be in a different video. And uh, I've got my octopus and I've got, oh God, I've found like three sweaters that need to be finished. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Ooh, are you? So, anyway. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I will finish up the office and then I will show that to you. And I will show you the progress that I've gotten on the octopus. And I will tell you... Ugh, I've got a mess here. I will tell you um, how I feel about using this <laughs> the label came off so yeah it's a bit of a mess um <clears throat> yeah it's gonna be gonna be fun so hey, let's go good morning yarn and bees how are you today so oh i got a headache ah <laughs> uh, um so I've got an appointment first thing this morning at 9.30 to go and meet my new doctor. Um, I have finally have a doctor that's taking over for my doctor that retired. So I'm going to meet this person. I don't know if it's man or woman. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But it'll be nice to actually have a doctor. <sighs> but... Whether or not that works out, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, George has his appointment next month, I think. No, the end of this month. Uh, to go meet this doctor, too. Because we have the same doctor. They're doing this... <clears throat> excuse me. They're doing this um, thing now, I guess, where they're doing a meet and greet with patients and doctors to see if they... Are compatible which it's like okay I'm just glad to have a doctor <laughs> uh, hopefully this is a good one so but uh, I do know that this doctor is foreign that's about all I know so because they were saying that the reason why it was taking so long is because they had come into the country or whatever and they were learning our ways of stuff or something I don't know but anyway, whatever. <laughs> um, what else? I'm, I think I mentioned this to you guys. I'm starting to get my yarn room together. Yay! It's like right over there. <laughs> so having it in that office is either a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know yet because... <clears throat> 
it's also the sliding door that goes to the deck, the back deck. Okay. Oh. Oh, here we go. Um, and that's the sliding door that George goes through every day, a couple times a day, to get to the hot tub. And, <clears throat> you know, he uses that door when he's paddling and comes and dumps all this stuff in the office. Not anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be a real struggle to keep handle on George um, and all, bringing in all this crap and throwing it in there. But <clears throat> hopefully it'll be okay. Um, I just ordered from Walmart, I ordered a couple of shelves, shelving units. I think they're like the snap on it, a snap together ones or whatever. Um, cause the, I was trying to utilize the desk that was in there. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Ooh. I didn't go to bed until like one o'clock in the morning. And then I realized at one o'clock going, Oh, I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. <laughs> So, yeah, my time and space is all messed up since I closed the shop. So I'm still trying to get used to it. But anyway, um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Holy cow, you guys. Oh, shelving unit, right. Um, yeah, so the desk that's in there, it's not a bad desk. It's one of those curved desks though and so I was trying to utilize it and I'm realizing it's not going to work I don't know why I tried but <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is try and sell it possibly so I've got these other cabinet things coming together excuse me they're like fabric cubes or whatever but they snap together it's not like the regular cubes that I have um, I don't know. They look like bookshelves, but they are made of fabric or whatever. So I'm hoping <clears throat> those are supposed to be coming next week. I think they might come earlier. I don't know. <clears throat> so I'm going to get those, put those in there, and then I'm going to put my yarn on it and hope that everything's good. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm still not over this cold. <clears throat> um, yeah, I've got, I'm looking around here and I've got, well, I've got three trolleys. Um, one's full of yarn here, but it's all like half skeins and stuff like that. Bits and bobs of stuff. Bits and bobs. I'm not British. Why am I? Well, I am. I'm part of half British. I use terminology that I don't normally use. It's weird. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway. I have one, two, three, four, four bags that I have some projects in that I have no idea. <laughs> well, some of them, one is a sweater that I've been working on. <clears throat> the other one is, it's a kind of like a Mandela, <sighs> Mandela vest or something. Uh, <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> oh, you guys, I tell you. This cough. <coughs> so, anyway, I have stuff in here that I'm not even sure what it is. <coughs> but, I've, yeah, I've got just mismatched things. And I'm going, okay, so maybe what I'll do is I will go downstairs and try and find my ball yarn winder. Oh God, I have no idea where that would be in a box somewhere and start winding up some of this stuff. Cause it's like, I've got like floppy balls, <laughs> like, you know, like this kind of stuff. And to put stuff like this on the shelf, it just, it's going to look terrible. <clears throat> and those bookshelves are going to be my backdrop uh, when I do videos now. So I want it to kind of look nice, right? Actually, 
now that I'm thinking about it. I do have the other cube snap together ones <clears throat> on the sides. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is I'll put all these bits and bobs in those and then put all my cakes and my nice skeins, like my plush yarns and stuff in those. I'll just switch it around, I think, so that all this stuff isn't really seen too much. <clears throat> so anyway, and I got my label maker working. That was fun. Uh, I just don't know how to use it now. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just kind of going, okay, so uh, now I, I've got to learn how to design labels and but all that. So there's that. Uh, <clears throat> I have a website now. It's not up and running yet, but it's going to be crochetacanada.ca when I'm done with it. <clears throat> um, I'm, I have to get the stuff that I'm putting on there. It's basically, it's all going to be stuff to buy, basically. Um, <clears throat> and it's going to be done through my square. Like it's a website through square. So I'm sure there's a lot left that I've got to learn on it. Um, I've got to take whatever I've made. I'm going to take pictures of it, get it listed. And once I have some listed, then, um, then I can have the website go live. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I've been working on some stuff. Some stuff. I'm in the process of making another Kraken. I think I was talking to you guys about that. I finished the legs. Now I can start working on the body. Problem is, is that I'm going to have to back off of doing crochet for a little bit, I think. Because this finger is, it's, it's the pain is excruciating. <clears throat> um, I've been putting stuff on my hands and everything. I had a hot bath yesterday. Uh, I think it's because I've been working with the plush yarn every day for the last while. <clears throat> you guys, this throat thing. <clears> throat> it's driving me crazy. Uh, so, yeah, so I've been working on the plush, working with the plush yarn quite a bit. <clears throat> so, yeah, my finger is just, oh, it hurts so much. The joint hurts so much. Um, I got this other stuff. It's kind of like Voltaren, I think, but it's a roll on. And I, I was actually introduced to it a year ago, um, from Dave, the dog walker that was at the shop and that stuff works pretty good, but it doesn't last. <clears throat> so it get, kind of gets me going, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't last long. So, yeah. So that's, that's that. Um, what else? Now that I got this, this starting to get this room cleared out, I'm, um, I'm going to start. Oh, my sister's coming the beginning of November. Uh, she has another IV. <clears throat> she, oh, you guys, for all my OGs out there that know what's going on with my sister, um, she gets IVs. Uh, every few months to keep her alive because she had um, for those that are new my sister a few years ago my sister was um, she collapsed and was taken to emergency and found out that she had um, a Wagner's disease which is an autoimmune disease and it builds up fluid in the brain <clears throat> well the one that she has there's various different types of Wagner's um, but the one that she had was in her, her brain and it built up fluid in her brain and almost killed her. So she ended up having four brain surgeries in two months and that was a, a terrible time. It was so bad. Um, and she came through it. They put a stint in her head that goes all the way down into her stomach. So it drains the fluid. <clears throat> Um, but anyway, she's had to get this IV. It used to be called rituximab, but it, it's almost like a chemo treatment, but it's, 
um, she had to get it like every three months and then it was like every six months. And then, you know, now she, I think she said she only has a couple more left and then she doesn't have to get any more. They said that she's cured. <laughs> I don't know if she's ever going to be cured. Um, <clears throat> but it's basically, it's been, uh, it, she's at the point now where she doesn't need that medication anymore. Well, thank God. I, I, I mean, holy cow. Um, whether or not that's true is we'll see, but yeah, she's only got a couple more IVs left to do. So the IVs are here in Nanaimo and she's in Crofton, which is <clears throat> about 45 minutes away. It's all, it's a little bit further away than where my shop was. So she comes here and she stays for a couple of days and uh, usually helps me clean the house <laughs> and get stuff organized. Um, and then I take her up to her IV because it's only like a couple blocks from here. So <clears throat> um, she's going to be coming the beginning of November before my surgery. And uh, she's going to be helping me make t-shirts and make safety eyes. I'm going to teach her how to do that. So, um, yeah, so now that the room is clean, somewhat clean, I've got a few more things to do in here. Um, then now she can come in, help me come in. Okay, no, Ugh, words. She can come help me make some of this stuff and then I can post it. I'm so excited. I'm hoping to be able to get like an assembly line going for the safety eyes. Because it takes some time to do those because I've got to, you know, um, I got to put the glitter on and the paint on and I got to cure them in the, in the light. And then it's just, it's a whole thing. So I'm hoping to be able to do it like on an assembly line. Um, so that's going to be, that's going to be fun. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Yeah, and then I'm just, I'm prepping for the surgery, upcoming surgery. I think, is it next week? I think next week is my last um, shot of Ozempic before the surgery. I have to be off it for a few weeks, um, you know. And, oh, I found out that I was so worried about going off my stomach pills um, before the surgery, because then my, like my acid reflux, I can, I cannot go off my pills for a day, um, without my acid reflux going out of control. So I talked to the, um, anesthesiast and he said, no, he says, don't stop taking that. You can take that all the way up to surgery day. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, cause it would have been a bad day. Uh, if I had to like not take that. He says, no, no, we don't want you to have an acid reflux. I'm like, okay. So I have to stop taking my blood thinners four days before the surgery. And I can take my stomach pills right up to the surgery day. So, yay. Yay. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. My surgery date, it, my surgery time keeps getting moved. Now it's actually earlier. I've got to be at the Victoria Hospital for nine o'clock um, check-in. My surgery was at like 12, then 11. Now, you know, it's like 10. <laughs> it's like, holy crap. So anyway, <clears throat> George is feeling a little guilty because, you know, I'm going to be in there for three or four days and he's going to be having to come from Nanaimo <clears throat> to Victoria and back. And I told him, I says, don't do that. Don't do that. I says, you know what, be there for the day of the surgery and then <clears throat> come back, you know, after a day or two, you know, I'm getting, cause I'm going to be out of it probably for a bit. Um, they'll probably be trying to get my pain under control or, you know, whatever. I'm going to be going for tests or I'm going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot going on. So there's no point in him being there, you know, and I know what it's like to have to sit in the hospital with somebody. It's, it's brutal, but, um, as long as I've got 
my crochet and I've got my uh, iPad or something so I can you know watch videos or have my phone I'm gonna be fine you know so <clears throat> it's gonna be a long four days uh, and especially with me being on a liquid diet and everything it's gonna be terrible but um, you know I don't want him driving over the Malahat uh, you know, every day. We don't know what the weather's going to be like. We're supposed to have a brutal summer, uh, winter, from what I'm understanding. <clears throat> right now, it's rainy, like, nastiness. We finally had our first with, um, wood fire uh, of the year. <clears throat> so, yeah. So we had our fireplace going. Um, what else? Oh, <laughs> Jennifer's uh, mermaid is going to be there soon. Actually, by the time this video goes out, she might already have it. So I'm excited about that. Um, Chris, Chris's package is on the way to her. Uh, <clears throat> I made her a one of these bags that I was talking about. I made her a bag and put some stuff in it. So... Uh, I've, I found out a few things about that. Um, found the hard, found out the hard way. I'm going to have to figure out a different way to do this. Either I don't sublimate it and I just put HTV vinyl on it or something. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have to figure something out. <sighs> Which means I have to learn this bloody machine. I've, <clears throat> I have not been able to sit down and try and do anything with my Cricut machine because this room has been full of yarn and I haven't been able to get in here. So that's another thing I got to do. I've actually got to bite the bullet and I've got to learn this Cricut machine. And um, yeah, so anyway, I got to get going. And um, I will talk to you guys later. I don't know if this is the end of the video or not. I guess we'll find it. But if it is, I love you all. Okay, don't forget to do all the things. Subscribe, like, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I love you. Mm.